Hello everybody and welcome to Soccer's Minecraft Survivor Season 3 Interviews. And today, I am just so glad to interview this person. This is my dynamic duo, my ride or die, from the Serengeti. Let me introduce you to the legend, Derek. Hey, how's it going? I'm long back time no see. Yes, sir. Long time no see, bro. How long has it been since you played a Survivor? Uh, the last Survivor that I played in was, yeah, 2020 during Oxy Survivor. So what got you to come back? Uh, <laughs> a, a last minute DM from soccer while I was at work. <laughs> well, soccer knows how to recruit the best, and he certainly found a dime in the past with you. Oh yeah, I was when I when I actually was offered uh, to go on the show. I'm like, what? holy crap! This this might be actually a really fun experience. I'm not doing anything the day of recording. I haven't done a Survivor, and I'm really excited to go into this and see what happens. Because four years is a long time. It's a long time. Now, can, like, can I get a little insight, though? Like, what are those plans? Like, what are the gears turning right now? Like, what are you thinking? What's your strategy coming into this game? All right, let's let's look back at the Serengeti. I went into the game thinking I'm I'm the best. I went a little cocky. I went into the game kind of cocky, and I tried to do what I normally do: create bonds, create alliances, and keep myself safe. And I got immediate votes and immediately voted out. So. I'm thinking to tr try and change up my strategy a little more this season. Try not to go into the, try not to go into the game guns blazing. You know, don't pound ideas into people's heads. Just gently nudge them towards. I don't want to be like, I don't want to be a threat as soon as I go into the game again. Yeah, it's definitely the way to go about it. I certainly made that mistake this time, and it costed me. So hopefully, you learn from your mistake and from my mistake on this previous series. So, going into this season, though, what puts you above everybody else? Um, probably my, just my sheer game show experience. Um, I've been in the game show community since 2017. I've had a lot of practice with challenges. Um, I can't think of challenge gimmicks that I haven't done. A lot of unrecorded, a lot of recorded shows. So, just my, my sheer game show experience. Alright, so talking about that, though. In Soccer is my fifth Survivor Season 1 and 2, the winner both received the hundred dollars. Now, I want you to win, Derek. I want you to win this so, so bad. You're eager to play. If you win this season, what are you gonna spend that hundred dollars on? Uh, probably gonna put it away into, <laughs> probably gonna put it away into savings. Um, I want to take, uh, some flights to, uh, around North America and any, any bit helps. Um, I went to a trip to New York in March of last year, met a few awesome people. And I'm hoping to keep doing that, to uh, keep me meeting the peeps that uh, keep this community thriving. Now, that's a genuine answer. Like, how can they not root for that answer? Someone who's willing to spend that money on themselves and to see people in the community. But talk about the community as a whole, though. You've been here for a while, like you said, seven years. I just want you to spill the tea right here. Who is the one person you do not want to see on this season? If you see them, you're like, oh my god, why are they here? Oh, gosh. Um, oh, I'm not good with drama. There's been a contestant that I had some history with, uh, Otter A, known as Hannah. Um, Hannah, if you're watching this, uh, like, you're awesome. Congrats on so many things. But anytime we're in a game show, we tend to f <laughs> we tend to try and go after each other. So, this is like a question now, really, like, like your game style. Like, you talked about that earlier, like, saying, like, isn't that a part of the game? But you also said earlier, like, kind of want to lay it back a little bit. So, this is the real question right here. Are you going to be the person who speaks up this season and says the name? Or are you going to hear the name and then tell everyone? Hmm, that is a good question. I'm hoping that my, my goal is, with any show is I never want to be the person who directly calls out somebody. And if I'm backed into a wall and forced to do that, I'm going to go, I'm going to bullshit. I'm going to be like, oh, I don't know, maybe this person or, oh, gee, Willikers, how about this guy? But my goal is to plant little seeds of who's fucking, who's fucking up and who's... You know, if, if it's like, like who's doing horrible in challenges, I'd want to put those little seeds of doubt into people and get the train rolling. All right, all right, just playing in the middle. Respect, respect that. Now, this question, talking about all of that, and now summing it up here, what place do you see yourself getting this season? Okay, so I got sixth in Robster's Big Brother. I got sixth in that due to my challenge abilities and my social bonds, and an early game 5 personal alliance. I love, I guess, 4, because one of them got second boot. And then you look at the Serengeti, and I was second boot. 
So, I'm kind of thinking if if I can learn from both, getting past that sixth place would be so nice. But Survivor is so unpredictable. But what's that placement gonna be? What's that number? I gotta hear the number. Let's go five. Let's go five. Fifth place? That's respect. That's respect. That's making it up. That's being in every single episode. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much, Derek, for answering all these questions. You've been a pleasure to have here. But I feel like I've been asking you a lot of questions, so I just want to give you the floor here. Is there any last thing you want to say to the audience so you have the chance? You know what, guys? Uh, my survivor abilities, I'm, I'm here to prove that uh, I, I know what I'm doing and that I've learned over the years. So, hashtag Team Derek in the comments. I, I'm here to win. And just heading through this game you're gonna see a really unique side of you, you're gonna you're gonna see a unique side of me new strategies and just the same derek that you've known for the longest time thank you so much derek it's a pleasure to talk to you and it's certainly a pleasure getting to interview you i'm just so eager to see you come back after this long of a time we get to play this game again i'm rooting for you to win man thank you so much mm -hmm. thank you thank you jj